Portland Coalition Against Poverty. Uh, we're having a demonstration, it's called Hands Off the Poor, and uh, it's directly aimed at responding to the sweeps under the Hawthorne and Morrison Bridge. Alright, over the last two weeks, 125 folks have been swept from underneath the Burnside, Hawthorne and Morrison Bridges uh, by the Portland Police Bureau and Clean and Safe. The way they've conducted those sweeps uh, is by waking the folks up and giving them two minutes to collect all their possessions. Anything they can't collect within two minutes uh, gets tossed in a dumpster. Is this something that happens each year, something that's been practiced before? One of our proud Portland traditions is to increase harassment of the poor and houses around the time of the festival season, so the city will be appropriately cleansed for our out-of-town guests. So yes, it is, it is an annual event. However, it seems like the sweeps this year are particularly ferocious. So what sort of what sort of things have been different this year, years past? Standard police bureau policy is to give a campsite at least 24 hours notice before sweeping it. It's written on the no camping flyer, and they haven't been doing that. It's also standard policy to hold good seas for 10 days, not to throw them away. And uh, they're actually specifically required by law to have social services agencies with them at the time of the sweep, and they haven't been doing that. So what are you hoping to accomplish today with the protest? <laughs> We're hoping to raise the empowerment of people who participate to challenge illegitimate forms of authority. We're hoping to hold Clean and Safe, Portland Patrol, the PBA, and the Police Bureau accountable for their actions, to make it clear to them that we won't tolerate these kinds of abuses.